You've also spoken about artificial intelligence and how artificial intelligence can actually help employees become more emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. And that can, of course, help boost employee performance sure. and help give organizations a more competitive edge. Sure. Tell us more about this. Wow, that, that was really a fun piece that I got a chance to write um, for AI. And really, it came to me while I was reading an article about machines, friend or foe. Right, you know, there's this notion that the robots have taken over, and I thought this is really interesting. But if you think about it, human performance has been pushed by AI for a very long time through astronauts, pilots, the military, uh, disaster response teams, physicians, athletes to help um, enhance their skills, their knowledge, and their results. Um, and if you think about it, EI, emotional intelligence, is something that impacts our daily lives. Um, why? Because you need empathy and self-awareness to help um, develop and foster um, you know, good relationships, uh, whether it's at work or at home. And, that's, and so why not reimagine the symbiosis between AI, artificial intelligence, and EI, emotional intelligence, uh, to help boost um, employee productivity. And what is what we are starting to see in the market is startups taking root with wearables um, to focus on affective, the AF, affective computing, where they're able to monitor emotions, tone of voice. Um, interactions, um, and all of those things in terms of compiling that data helps inform what kind of solutions or what kind of things should we as learning leaders be doing to help continue to boost the employee's productivity based on the data that we're seeing. Because oftentimes if you don't have data, I mean, today, so oftentimes you're just kind of experimenting, but if you had the data to help buttress maybe your observations, I think you could see a lot more gains in employee productivity and help boost employee engagement. I mean, look, for years, employee engagement has been pretty abysmal in terms of people being engaged in work, in their jobs. It's been kind of whole hum if you look at the data from Gallup. Um, so just imagine what the possibilities if we could, you know, leverage AI to help boost emotional intelligence and employee productivity. How do you think that that could play out in, in, the, in a business setting, like practically speaking? So this, this sounds great and it could be done, you know, with the technology and all these things, um, but do, how do you see it actually playing out in, <laughs> in an organization? I hate to give you the simple answer, but I think it could be really great. Now look, Something like this has to be voluntary, and it's happening already. This is not someone's imagination. This is actually being done today. An example would be a company like Humanize. Um, they're actually working with Deloitte in their Canada office, and they're getting really rich data around how this is all working. And in fact, this idea of affective computing was incubated at M MIT. And uh, most people know that they put out a lot of rich, credible research, but also uh, rich, credible solutions that help move businesses ahead. And I think this is something that um, the notion of being able to, to combine AI and EI using wearables or badges or whatever the case may be, I think is not far-fetched because it's happening today. And quite frankly, let's think about it. In many companies, we have badges, we swipe in and out uh, for different reasons. You know, that data is being collected. Um, you know, who's, who's spending more time at the office vice not spending time at the office, which sometimes with things like that, they use the data to help inform, okay, do we even need this building? So in subtle ways, it's being used today anyway, but in terms of those startups, um, there are a number of companies uh, today that are teaming with other corporations to um, leverage this technology, if you will, the affective computing to help inform how they improve their employee engagement.
and productivity.